Good morning, viewers. And welcome to our fourth program for grade 10 and 11 agricultural science learners. Today we will learn about the handling of beef cattle. At the end of today's program, you should be able to explain the reasons for carrying out different handling practices in beef cattle farming and explain how to carry out different handling practices in beef cattle farming and how to use tools. Beef cattle farming is not just about sitting on the stoop and looking at the cattle. There are a lot of activities that needs to be done on a beef cattle farm during the year. We will have a look at some of these. These activities usually take place in a smaller area where it is easier to handle the cattle so that the work can be done by fewer workers. To handle animals easier, they are chased through a cattle crush where they can move one by one. Before they move into the cattle crush, a few cattle are kept in a smaller holding pen. When the time comes for each individual animal to be handled, it moves into the head clamp. Now the animal is relatively still and the farmer can inspect the animal and do the activities needed. Animals should be dehorned to make it easier and safer to handle them. There are different ways to dehorn cattle. Farmers can use special dehorning pliers to dehorn animals. Animals can also be dehorned by cutting off the horns with a knife. Some farmers make use of a saw for longer horns and some make use of a hot wire. It is important to burn the wound after dehorning to prevent infection and bleeding. Animals need to be marked for proper record keeping purposes. Marking is a way of identifying animals. By law, all cattle in Namibia have to be marked with an ear tag that is obtained from the Ministry of Agriculture. Animals can also be marked by branding them on the hind leg with a hot iron containing the farmer's identification. Are you still enjoying the program? I'm sure many of you have done some of these things already. If you are ready, let us continue. There are different ways how animals can be treated against diseases and parasites. Animals should be vaccinated against certain diseases. Their bodies will then be able to fight against disease-causing organisms. In Namibia, farmers are compelled by law to vaccinate cattle against diseases such as anthrax, brucellosis, CBPP, and food and mouth disease. Animals can be dubbed to protect them against external parasites. Animals move through water with medicine in it. Or they are sprayed. Or medicine can be poured onto the animal's back. Animals should be dosed to protect them against internal parasites. A dosing gun is used to insert the medicine in the animal's mouth. The last part of today's lesson is about castration. Castration is done to prevent unwanted breeding. Male animals that the farmer doesn't want to breed with should be castrated. Castration can be done in different ways. Young animals can be castrated with a knife, but this is not a practice that farmers do often anymore. Smaller animals can also be castrated by putting a rubber ring around the scrotum of the animal above the testis. The scrotum and the testis dry up and fall off. Larger animals will be castrated with a castrating plier or burdito. The plier is put behind the testis on the sperm cord and then pressed and held for a while to close the sperm cord. Let us have a look at what we learned about handling beef cattle today. 
Handling is made easier with a holding pen, a kettle crush and a head clamp. Dehorning is done with a knife, saw, hot iron or special plier to prevent injuries and create more space at the drinking through. Marking is done for identification and can be done with a hot iron or with an ear tag. Vaccination is done to prevent diseases. Dubbing, spraying or pouring on is done to control external parasites. Dosing is done with a dosing gun to control internal parasites. Castration is done with a knife, castration ring or bordito to prevent unwanted breeding. Viewers, before I sign off, I would like to ask you a few questions to think about. Question number one, explain why dehorning is done. Question number two, state two ways to do marking. And question number three, explain why castration is done. Viewers, that was the fourth program in our agricultural science for grade 10 and 11, where we discuss handling of beef cattle. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you for being with us, but we'll still be right back, so stay tuned.